The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Understanding big data is one of the fundamentals and it's about accessing information from a wide pool of areas at both high speed and real time. And the question then becomes is how to manage it. And technology then plays in this digital age a key part to it. So not only would it allow us to deliver more from the infrastructure we have, but it will also allow us to identify areas of, of, of improvement. And it's not just about the movement of traffic, it's about how we use uh, the land, how we, uh, how we do planning and how we create societies that we want to enjoy and communities that are active. And accessibility and mobility are key elements to this. So traffic agencies all around the world are increasingly using data to inform the way they manage the transport network in cities and also plan for its future growth. At the same time, we're seeing an incredible increase in digitisation of information from our cell phones, from our cars, buildings, the information system. Imagine a, a world where these cars here are talking to each other, they're talking to the stoplights, they're talking to the buildings, they know where the congestion is, they know how, when the next train is at the closest station, how long it's going to be if you park there and go to work. Where the latest, where the, where the closest parking structure is and when it closes, which one's got the coffee, the best coffee located next to it. All of this data is just out there in the world in this, in this data sphere. Uh, and traffic managers are really thinking about how to harness that. And it's, it's quite a complicated topic. So this project has been looking at some of the best examples of how that's being done now from Australia and all around the world. And what's next? What are some of the new digital platforms that can harness this data to make these amazing cities of ours really work for all of us? It is early days for big data and for our understanding and use of big data, but I'm already seeing projects coming through where we start to look at leveraging the available data through technologies like um, Google, Google Maps, uh, Waze system, to start providing information for better incident and network management. If we don't understand what we can do with big data, we miss the opportunity to share those benefits with our clients. So Oricon collaborating with research institutions is something that I think we have to do to be future ready. When we think of big data, you know, so it has the, a couple of dimensions, which is, you know, size, the frequency. Um, but for us, for um, it to be big data, it does have to be massive. So I'll give you an example. For Opal, we track you know, everybody's usage. Where did you get on? Where did you get off? Did you take a bus and a train? What did you do last week, this week? So the amount of data that we pull, that we have, is huge. So Transport for New South Wales is also currently working with Google. So we have got a contract with Google where we are polling Google 50 million times a day. So just big data on its own has no value. It doesn't deliver value and it doesn't derive any decisions for us. So the value in big data is able to harness its power and say, what does it tell us about the transport network? Where should I spend my money? Or I have spent the money, what has it done for us? So what I think is going to happen in the future is that we are going to transport agencies around the world. We are going to focus less on building everything ourselves and we are actually going to partner with large-scale com commercial organizations, research institutes to say, have you solved this problem already? Tell me how I could use it. Almost all the core functions in uh, main roads, um, for example, road design, road planning, uh, asset management, and management and operation of the road network are driven by data. So good quality data is absolutely fundamental to uh, what we do in main roads. In smart cities, uh, of course, transport data is just one component, and you have other many uh, real-time data streams, like from the your electric grid uh, and, and public transport and, and so on. So, uh, for example, in cases like uh, disaster management, it's, uh, it would be very helpful to uh, uh, sort of uh, combine all these data streams together uh, to sort of expedite uh, response to uh, disasters. Working with uh, research and, and universities uh, is, is pretty important in this regard. That's why we have partnered with agencies like SBE and NRC to uh, sort of explore 
the next advances in big data analytics because we want to strategically position ourselves to make the best use of uh, this exponential growth uh, in the area of data. We have seen uh, through analysis of existing projects all around the world that most significant achievements on utilization of these big data analytics in, in dynamic uh, traffic management in, and also in emergency management. I believe that these uh, road agencies already uh, do uh, some basic analytics. Uh, However, um, by including uh, researchers and academics and uh, being involved in this project, uh, it can be lifted to the completely new dimension which can uh, contribute uh, to the traffic management, particularly in these large cities in Australia. If we have chance to get access to uh, this huge amount of uh, data, uh, what these uh, agencies and government has, obviously we will be able uh, to work on it. And uh, uh, from the scientific point of view, we will need to uh, uh, develop the completely new algorithms because traditional methods simply don't work uh, on this huge amount of data. As a researcher, it's been amazing working with industry and government on this project. We're really seeing some opportunities coming out of the ability to harness all sorts of new data sources. Data sources now that are so big and that are happening so fast that our old methods of dealing with them and using them really just, just aren't keeping up. So this area of big data is emerging where how do we have massive amounts of data that's streaming all day from all sorts of places like these vehicles talking to each other and the, talking to the stoplights and different things and how does that get harnessed in real time to improve mobility, to, to help me to move through my life onto public transport using cars where I need them into the situation that gives me mobility and really helps the city to function, particularly as they're growing so fast all around the world. It's important that big data has a next phase where it really does try to find out what is the demand, what is the need, the most important needs that can make better cities for us. So let's see what is the next phase of big data.